With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. It's been a great start to the season. Back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go. But they've come out playing good fundamental football. And that might carry... the former Eagle. Didn't have too much success with him, though. It's DeMarco Murray. Flashed the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Three yards to go here on second down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. here to his running back. Might have gotten this one down to the 28 and that's all. Just a yard on the pickup there and it'll bring up a second and nine. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense. Hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. To throw on second down. Wade. Walker with a grab. Left side. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now a timeout being called as there's an injured Titan down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Looking to throw. Wayne. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. Back to the ground game. Here's Murray. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. And here comes play number six on this drive. away to his left and he's gonna score it's a titans touchdown it's their quarterback with touchdown number eight on the year and the titans have taken a first quarter lead and that's exactly what you're supposed to do with good field position you make the other side pay when you don't have far to go for the score
First update now out of Jacksonville. And the early going, it's the Texans out in front. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. And Murray's still down. Maybe shaking up that go around. Let's hope he's all right. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Now it's second and seven. Looking to throw. Wade. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Smith. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. So here we go, first and 10 now. This is Derrick Henry. Stop shy of the 45. Showed off a nice little move on the play, though. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. With the former volunteer Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. It's the Titans with the football here to begin quarter number two. They're looking at a second and short yardage to start things out. They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Wade. And that's caught by Smith. And he will be hit with a lot of force and spun down. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Henry. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. On second down, here's Henry. And he'll go down at the 28. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed as that's going to move the chains. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Give to Henry. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Henry. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. 
Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. Now they'll look to throw an incomplete crisis averted, almost picked. Instead, second down. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost, and now there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Now you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. Back to throw now on second and ten, forced out to his left. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. A reminder coming up at halftime. Larry Ridley will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before that. And the seemingly endless drive continues. Six, five, eight. On first down, Murray. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. To me, that's a terrific run on first and goal at the three. They got two yards. I'd line right back up and give it to him again. Murray, that is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that is going to set up third and goal. Back to throw. Wade, and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Looking to throw on second down. Wade. And an alley to run. And some big time hitting going on there. He is knocked to the ground right there around the 35-yard line. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle. And he does so and picks up positive yardage. Off play action. Wade. The foul has got it. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. They run with Murray. 
And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL. And we will skip the highlight show. This Second half starts with a run by Murray. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Tough day. Tough sledding right there. And it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. To throw on second down. Wayne. And he finds Corey Davis. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. down. Wayne. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Fresh set of downs here. Looking to throw. Wayne. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Timmy Jernigan. Able to swap him from that defensive tackle spot for a loss of five. Looking to throw on second down. Wayne dancing to his left. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. <laughs> Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Time of the tailback and able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. Now a second down run for Murray. The Titans on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and five. to throw. Wade buying time to his left. He may try and run for this. And he is out of bounds getting it down to the 10. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. These type of plays are backbreakers for a defense. They thought they had him hemmed in. Thought they were going to get him on the ground with the pass rush but were unable to do so. He gets away, picks up a big first down and sets up first and goal inside the 10.
So the offense has it first and 10. This is Murray. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. And that gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Wade on the bootleg. Steps away. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Janu Smith, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. scoreboard third quarter now from Jacksonville now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago we got a good one going on there Deshaun Watson a single touchdown pass to this point in that one on first down Wade got his man complete over the middle it's Blake first down Titans gain of 12 well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Good gain there on first down. That keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Again, it's Murray. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. The bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they keep handing it to him. Off the play fake. Wayne. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. Now that's a big pickup right there, and so often we focus on how the quarterback's faking on play action. How about everyone being in on the deal and picking it up? Second, third levels, you could see them trying to recover. They bit. Worked out offensively. Carey's piling up. It's Murray again. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Over the middle complete. That's Blake. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route. Tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On first and ten, Wade. 
being chased out left. That he'll slide down to avoid the contact. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. They'll run the counter with Murray. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. DeMarco Murray, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. And they drew up the counter there. It worked. They're glad they drew up the counter. And a lot of times what you're trying to do is just simply get... The Murray now as they run it to start the drive. And he takes it across midfield to the 45. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They are on to the fourth quarter in Jacksonville. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Here's Murray. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The Titans on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. Here it's third and two. Set three, eight. Looking to throw. Three. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines. Now Charles, it's great to win at home in the NFL. When you win on the road, it's a little extra special, isn't it? It is because, let's face it, in most cases, you're not expected to go on the road and win in the National Football League. It just doesn't usually compute. So to get out there, get that done, and then head back to your city with one in, your, in the victory column, oh, that's a fantastic feeling. So for the Titans, they get back in the win column as they move to 2-1 and one now on the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the Indianapolis Colts. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, they too will exit with a 2-1 and one record. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head to Houston to take on the Texans.